Uh, hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. This is part uh, 14, I believe. And this tutorial, we're going to learn how to uh, open the uh, GFile Chooser, and we're going to choose an image from uh, anywhere in our computer, and we're going to fit that image size to be the same size of our uh, label. So this is very handy for a lot of projects so we're gonna start off here in our add employee page and we're gonna select uh, all the all those and just do this all right and so we're gonna move it here and just move this here too anyways so we're gonna move the buttons even here so what we need we need desktop pane just drag and drop one here uh, the size is good. And size it whatever you want, and then we're gonna add a label inside it like that, just like that. And we're gonna change the variable of the label to be img. Don't forget that. Like okay. And now uh, we'll need a button to attach uh, our image. So I have a button here. Just do this. And we'll name it attach. And we can double click that. So here we're gonna we we're gonna write our code, but first we're gonna go down here, scroll down, and we're gonna write some code in here. So we're gonna say We're gonna say private image icon format equals null, and then the second one is string file name equals null, and then byte person image equals null. So don't forget those. And then we're going to go here to our button code. And uh, we're going to say uh, j file chooser equals ah uh, sorry chooser equals new G file chooser. Don't forget that. And now we're gonna say chooser dot show open dialog so it opens it and then we're gonna say file and we call it f equals chooser dot get selected file. And then we say file name equals f dot get absolute path. And now we're gonna make the image uh, to fit our uh, label size. All right. So we got an error here. So just delete this. Anyway. So we're gonna say image icon. Uh, image icon equals new image icon and then you open a bracket and you say new image icon and then you're gonna say the file name dot get image dot get scaled instance and then we're gonna give it the width of our label. Do you remember our label? Our label is called IMG. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna write the width IMG dot get width. So it's gonna get the width of our label. And then here we're gonna say IMG get height. 
and then here just gonna remove here we're gonna say image dot scale default and then you close that and now we're gonna use our image icon so we're gonna say image which is our uh, label set icon so we're setting it image icon 